Let's take a look at the number of lone pairs and bonding pairs in CO3 2 minus. This is the carbonate ion. So we'll start off with bonding pairs of electrons. We have a valid Lewis structure here. We have the brackets around it with this 2 minus because it's the carbonate ion. It's an ion. When we look at the bonding pairs of electrons, these are the electrons between atoms. So right here we have a pair. Here we have a pair. This double bond, we have one, two pairs. So we have a total of one, two, three, four pairs of bonding electrons on the central carbon. We don't have any lone pairs. All of these electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds between the carbon and oxygen atoms. So we have four bonding pairs of electrons for CO3, 2 minus, and zero lone pairs. Normally, we only look at the lone pairs and bonding pairs on the central atom. That's what determines the molecular geometry of a molecule. But if you were to look at lone pairs on these oxygen atoms, you'd have one, two, three. These are lone pairs because they're not involved in chemical bonds. And then one, two, three. But over here, because of the double bond, we just have one, two lone pairs. But again, we are usually looking at lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons on the central atom because of its influence on the molecular geometry. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.